welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Justin. I'm currently working as a data analyst, uh, working remotely. Um, if you couldn't tell from those drone shots in the intro, I'm currently here in Boston making a quick trip. I realized a bunch of my new subscribers and new viewers are from my day in the life of the data analyst videos. And a lot of you have been DMing me and messaging me about you know, career advice, um, what steps that I took from college um, in order to be in the position that I'm in now. So I wanted to make this video to kind of share about you know, my steps, my journey, and how I became a data analyst. So today is a working day, so I have a bunch of reports and dashboards that I need to develop. So once I quickly um, develop those, I am going to take you guys back to Boston College uh, where I graduated and share my journey on how I became a data analyst. So let's get right into it. What's up guys? I just got to campus. Um, this is Boston College where I graduated back in 2019 with a bachelor's in computer science. And um, back when I was a sophomore, I was looking to apply to um, software engineering internships or anything related to that field, uh, such as data analytics. And my college would host fall and spring uh, career fairs where companies would come onto campus and students are able to go and network and apply to these internships. So I went to a career fair and applied to a multiple companies and tried to network. And to my surprise, um, I got rejected to all of them um, because I didn't have any related work experience. So uh, one of the key things that they told me was to work on personal projects on your own in my free time, um, whether that was software engineering projects or you know, data analytics projects that I'm able to showcase my skills to recruiters and put that on my resume um, for recruiters to see. I got lucky, my dad had a lot of connections in Korea, so I was able to get an internship in Korea uh, as a data analyst intern and I was able to do cool target marketing projects there and it really helped me build my resume to showcase to recruiters the following year. So a couple key takeaways is definitely leverage your network, your connections. If you know anyone in the related field, definitely do not hesitate to reach out to them and network with them, introduce yourself, and you never know if you know they can get you an interview or a referral to the company. If you don't have any connections or any networking, definitely work on those personal projects. There are definitely a lot of resources on YouTube, online to you know get started on your own project and therefore able to create this uh, portfolio. Um, they're able to show to recruiters and show employees, the company, that you're able to take on a full-blown project and you know, you're competent in your skills. After I completed my internship in Korea, I came back to Boston College as a junior. And if you didn't know, for juniors, it's, it can get very intense during their uh, fall where all the students are recruiting in hopes to get internship and then you know, hopefully getting a return offer for their senior year. So I went to the career fair uh, in the fall and the first company that I run into was a biotech company. I was able to land a in-person interview and kind of talk through my experience in Korea and talk about you know, what I did, which was target marketing, data analytics. I was able to be hired as a data analytics intern. And that following summer, I was able to be part of this 12-week internship which was pretty cool. If you did well during this internship, you would get a return offer 
uh, to a full-time rotational program that I'll talk uh, more into depth in a little bit. But I was able to land this internship and I was able to learn uh, more about um, Click, which was a data visualization tool that's pretty similar to Power BI and Tableau. And I was able to develop my SQL skills as well as data visualization skills as well. I was able to build a lot of reports and thankfully I was able to land a full-time offer after my senior year. This is Gasson, by the way. If you ever visit BC, uh, this is one of the most popular buildings on campus. So yeah, fun fact. After my internship, I was able to secure a full-time position. And what was so cool about this full-time offer was I was able to be a part of I was able to be a part of a rotational program, which entailed to be a little less than two years. I was able to go through three different rotations that were nine months long. And the goal of this rotational program was, you know, for you to figure out which position uh, best fit for you. So after the rotational program, you would be placed into a permanent role where, you know, you would fit best. So. Considering that I already had experience in data analytics um, because of my prior two internships, I went towards more business-sided um, roles. So did my first rotation as a business analyst, did uh, my second rotation in a more project manager role, and did my final rotation as a business partner. So while I learned a lot during those rotations, I realized that uh, my interests lied more in, you know, data analytics or more of a developer role. So the benefit about this rotational program was I was able to build a lot of connections, build my network because I was able to be part of three different teams and I was able to find a uh, permanent data analyst role um, within the company. And that is where I am today. And that's it. That was my journey on how I became a data analyst out of college. A couple key takeaways that you can take from this video is number one, definitely leverage the network that you have, any connections um, that you may know in order to land that in-person interview or referral, it can help you a ton. As a lot of people have told me within my company, it's definitely who you know and not what you know. And number two is definitely build up on those skills and build that portfolio if you don't have any prior work experience to showcase uh, to potential recruiters, your company, uh, to show that you are capable of carrying out a full-blown project. So if you watched um, all the way to the end and got some value, definitely hit that like button. Definitely helps me a ton. And if you wanna watch more content like this, definitely hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.